Hey guys, Laura here. This week I take you along on a weekend with me. We go to pick out some plants for the garden makeover, have a little pamper and do some shopping. Hope you enjoy and a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm in the bedroom. Thank you so much for your lovely comments. I'm so glad that we can finally come in here now and show it because to be honest, it's my safe haven. I've been working in here on the laptop eating in here, sleeping in here, living in here. I just don't wanna leave the room. This happens every time we make over a room. I just like, never leave it. Anyway, I wanted to chat about the lights, which got so many comments, the most comments in the previous video, um, the confusion as to why we have two. And to be honest, there's no particular reason as to why we have two. The main reason is because I love the style. I like the way that it looks. Personally, I feel like if you take away the lamp, let me show you. The space just looks really bland and really sad. Like it needs that texture and that warmth. Like it creates that coziness and loveliness around the bed. If I put it back, there's also a slightly practical element to this. You want the cozy lamp. Our lamp is voice activated, which means when you're in bed especially, you don't have to be doing this. That's me actually touching the bit of the lamp to turn it on. It's an effort, <laughs> let me tell you. So we ask Alexa. Alexa, turn the lights on for the lamps. And it just creates this cozy feel. That's great in the daytime, when you're awake, when you're coming to bed, and you're both awake. Alexa, turn the lights off. Alexa, turn the lights off. She's currently behind the Dyson, so I don't think she can hear that well. You don't want to be doing that in the middle of the night. You want to wake up in the middle of the night and you need a little light on your side. So easy. Generally, the ease. Also, a lot of people have it. Now, ours aren't amazing for this, but if you want to be doing a little bit more of direct light, this is much better for reading. I mean, it's a little extra. Do you need two lights by your bed? No. Will I do it again? Yes, I love it. You need the space for it. I think we only just about have the space for it in this room. In other rooms that we've made over, we just haven't had the space to be able to do it. And I think you do need the symmetrical on either side. So if you've got your bed up against the wall, not sure it quite works for that either, but that's why we love it. I mean, there's nothing like the ease of this. This is a very easy, we, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have lamps here unless they were voice activated personally. Anyway, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that weird? Apparently that's really weird. Is it a British thing? I have no idea but I know most of like the top interior designers slash hotels that I like do this. Who knows? Who knows? I'm still not sure. Maybe I need to do some research. <laughs> anyway, today we are leaving the house, guys. We're taking you out and about. We're popping to, well, I say the garden center, but we're probably gonna go to a few garden centers because I feel like UK has had the most rainiest summer ever at least for us every time that we have a weekend it rains but the forecast for next week is sunshine and we have still not finished the garden we absolutely need to plant some things i know it's not the best time to plant slash buy plants but it's where we are unfortunately with the timing of the garden so we're gonna head out and try and find some bits today i will say one thing that um, I'm a girl who likes to change her mind and we definitely said that we weren't going to go for jasmine, climbing jasmine in the garden. And the other day we popped to the garden centre, saw it, smelt it and I was like, it's gorgeous. I feel like we need it in our garden. So maybe I'll explain that a bit more later, but we're going to try and head out the door now and get going for the day. Oz here now. And what I actually didn't say is that we're doing a garden centre tour today. <laughs> We're going to them all to try and pick the best of the best. And we're also going to hopefully pop into Ikea, is that right? Yep. Shelves um, and rails for the wardrobe. They don't know about the wardrobe yet. There's a wardrobe coming. 
makeover number two coming <laughs> soon and we need a few bits for that so we'll pop in there too we're at the first garden centre um, I told them that we were going to get Jasmine earlier and it's so funny because Ollie keeps saying Yasmin and we have a friend called Yasmin <laughs> and I'm like no we're not going to be gonna planting plant, Yasmin's plant garden, garden. <laughs> <laughs> anyway if you hear him say Yasmin you know he means Jasmine these are the Jasmine's Yasmin's that we came to see the other day can you hear me? And honestly, this smell is insane. Like even through a mask, they are beautiful. And we're thinking of going for this size. I mean, and they just look so pretty. To be honest, I think we'd almost be buying all four of these, which means we get really established greenery at the back there and it will hopefully give quite a lot of coverage and it's just so pretty I like the small leaf I love the white the fragrance is insane like can you imagine we'll be sat here with a little breeze yeah and the evergreen as well so in the winter they yeah, still, still look nice. nice so this is why we're going back to them we're not going to be fitting these in a mini so I think we're going to have to be getting these delivered I don't know whether we just go for them yeah at least these. I also want to get some hydrangeas, which I think we'll shop around for, but... These are definitely the best jasmine that we've seen, so... And they are huge. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have, like, that much to spread either side, once yeah. it's planted. And they're not a bad price. 89. Quite, I mean, a lot of, quite expensive, but quite a lot of coverage. But what they are, in comparison to trees, because we were going to go for peach trees, but so we think we might want to do peach trees coming out from the extension one day and then i was thinking we're not going to want a long garden full of them we definitely can't afford that so yeah can i get these yeah why not yeah let's do it in darkness because we've made it to ikea ollie's already saying he wants hot dogs is it even lunchtime yet probably probably about 10 a.m somewhere <laughs> quite taken by these gold frames yeah only 10 pounds which i think is quite nice and they're are they gold or and it's hard to see in this light they are gold like them swanky room settings over here it's heavy. <laughs> it's heavy actually As you probably saw, we ended up picking up five of these hydrangeas. Ollie's just gone to get the last one and we're going to wheelbarrow them to the back of the garden. But I think I'm going to leave you guys here. We also ordered the jasmine, so we are 100% going for it now. It should be coming this week, so it shouldn't be that long now till the garden's finished. But haven't you always heard us say that? Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Before we get into tomorrow, I wanted to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Squarespace. I'm sure you all already know about them, but if you don't, they're the all-in-one website building platform with thousands of award-winning templates to make building your website the most seamless process. And I run my website through them, which I mainly use for the blog feature I can upload and schedule posts, as well as constantly update them from time to time. I've actually had a few different websites on different platforms, and never found the process enjoyable until I moved over to Squarespace. And I think this is because they just have the most amazing user-friendly platform that honestly anybody can use. Even if you're not tech savvy, you have no idea how to build a website, you will be able to do it on Squarespace. But if you're unsure, you can head over there and try out their free trial, give it a go, put in your imagery, try starting your business, whether it be just a website, a blog, an e-commerce site, or a portfolio. They have platforms to suit any kind of website. And then when you're ready to go live, you can use my discount, which will give you 10% off your first website or domain. But I would highly recommend checking them out. But for now, into tomorrow.
Hey guys, I basically never start a video at this time of day. It's four o'clock for once. I'm not saying good morning. I thought it'd be nice to change things up a little bit, partly because I want to take you guys with me tomorrow, having a really nice lunch with my parents. But before that, I wanted to go charity shopping, see if I can pick up any things for the home. But I'm going to be leaving super early in the morning, so I don't want to do that like rush intro because I never feel like that feels good. So I thought we'd do a little bit of a pamper, take you along with me this evening too, and hopefully maybe a little bit this week. This week, we've got a few things going on. We finally have back our contract for our wedding venue. So hopefully we'll be paying the deposit, which we'll definitely be celebrating because it's been quite a journey, something I'll chat about in another video. And then I also just booked today, Ollie's birthday weekend. So today was like an admin day for me. I had to edit a video, do some invoices, blah, 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 all of that kind of like fun stuff on the computer. So just got up, showered, and didn't put any like hair or makeup or just basically do anything. And um, yeah, Ollie's birthday weekend, we finally, well I decided <laughs> that we'd do London in the end. It felt like the safest bet. And actually, now that I've started planning it, it also has just like turned out so perfectly. We're gonna do drinks with friends. And Ollie's wish for his birthday is a Leica camera. Um, but he's never actually tried them before and you can go into the Leica store in London and kind of trial them. So also booked in that which is exciting because you can like trial it for a few days so yeah it's worked out really perfectly we've got a lovely room hopefully overlooking Hyde Park um, and it'll be really central so we can walk to restaurants and do normal nice things I feel like finally normality is coming back but I'm going to do some pampering this evening because I feel like I seriously need it I'm not even sure I remember my pamper routine because I haven't done it in such a long time. I think it's something to do with COVID and just generally how life has been recently. I don't know, I feel like I've lost the kind of like girly pampering time in my life. Don't know if any of you have felt the same. The other thing to note is that I'm talking semi-quietly in here. I don't know if you can tell because it is definitely echoey. I feel like my voice is just echoing through this huge <laughs> sink underneath me. But anyway, hope that you guys are good and having a nice week. It feels kind of weird and to be honest, a little bit alien to be starting a video not talking about the house or renovations, but at the same time, quite nice. Hopefully refreshing for you guys. I'm gonna start by cleansing my face. Now, what shall I use? Seeing as I don't have anything on my face today, I think I'll start with the Codex Beauty. It's like an exfoliating wash. It's really nice though because my skin is super sensitive so it doesn't really deal that well with exfoliating. But as you can tell, it, it almost just looks creamy. There's basically any beads to it. Um, so it's really light and delicate. I'm not gonna put any water on first, which you should do, but I'm hoping to do a bit of a deeper cleanse. Plus, if you can't already tell, my skin is just generally and naturally really oily, so it doesn't always need the water. <laughs> There's something so nice about washing your face at the end of the day, even if you haven't had makeup on. So refreshing. Now for a mask, I've got two elements here, either the Lavender Herbal Repair or the Vital Veggie Mask. I think I'll go for this one, it's a, a green mask and I think my skin needs it a little bit at the moment. My skin hasn't been perfect, but then to be honest, I'm not surprised, life's been a little bit busy. How are you guys feeling about things at the moment? Do you feel like life's gone back to normal for you? Do you feel very normal seeing friends and going shopping, planning holidays or events. I am finding it all a little bit, I'm really looking forward to it and I want to do it, but also logistically just a lot harder than it would be normally. That might also be because we try and plan a wedding and renovate, but to be honest, I love being busy. I wouldn't have it any other way. So interestingly, I'm just running the tap and I'm wondering if I can wait so that you guys can hear the sunny flow go. Uh, it's not, it doesn't go very often, so you can run the tap for quite a while. You might have to wait. Okay. 
There it was. Did you guys hear that? It's not an annoying, or I don't think that it's an annoying sound at all. And one of my recent videos, the master bedroom, when we were talking through the bathroom plans, a few of you were saying, how will you actually do that? Sunny flow, they're magical things. I love ours and you can pretty much put a bathroom anywhere as long as you have the joists running in the right direction. So basically for our master bathroom, there will be a sunny flow in there and we're gonna have to factor that in. So somewhere we're gonna have to try and hide it. Now while this dries, I'm gonna do my nails. Don't look at them up close because I think the last time I did my nails well, properly, was like a long time ago. Anyway, let me show you some bits that I've been loving recently. To be honest, I thought when I put these in here, these would be all of my go-to grabbing items, but it's so convenient to have this just behind that, to be honest, I have most of my go-to products also back here. This little cubby hole that we did is something that we are definitely gonna take to nearly all of our bathrooms. I absolutely love that it's kind of like hidden behind a wall. I don't feel like we have to have anything on there. And to be honest, we both keep it like pretty neat, even Ollie does. But anyway, back over here for now. Um, my favorite moisturizer of all time has to be Dr. Jar. I use this one day to day, pretty much every day. It doesn't break me out, but it is really hydrating, which is something that my skin needs. This Lancome eye remover I have used for years. And I mean like super years back when I used to wear waterproof mascara. It just really cuts through any kind of makeup that you have on eye makeup. So if it is a little bit tough getting off on the eyes, that's amazing. That is the face wash that I used and the masks. The Estee Lauder um, Advanced Night Repair. I kind of like swap between all of my nighttime creams. I'm definitely not so fussy with them, should I say, or I like to change it up a little bit more. Then this one is from Moravica, which I don't quite know how to explain this. I've tried to explain this product to friends. It's almost like a bit of a toner, but it just does something to your skin. I'm not quite sure what. So you're supposed to put it on before putting on any serums, and then it, it's supposed to make the serums work even better to kind of like sink into your skin. It kind of sounds like a load of nonsense, but in all honesty, it does something to make my skin kind of like baby soft and glowy. Over here, I don't have too much stuff, just a few of my favorite things. So these two are both for the eyes. I've got the Elemis Pro Collagen Eye Renewal. And I find this one I can't use every night. Um, so I kind of like alternate between this one and the Locker Town one. This Immortal range I absolutely love. I kind of started it with this one here, which I actually got in Provence. So Wally and I were on holiday there and we went to the factory and I picked up this one and fell in love with it. It was one of those things that as soon as I used it on my skin, I felt a huge difference. Um, so I was really excited to try this one out and you can also put this one on the lips. Behind there, I've got the La Roche-Posay. It's kind of like a moisturizing mist. And I love this one for just like really random times, usually more so in the winter when my skin's just feeling a little bit sad. Maybe even during the day, I'll spray it on on top of my makeup or if I don't have any makeup on. And I don't think I'll go through everything because this will be taking far too long. But I've very recently, literally the last few weeks, started trying out the JS Health. Now, these have been really popular on Instagram. And to be honest, at first I was like, nah, I'm not sure, like, are they really worth it? But I read up quite a few reviews on them and I really want to get my skin really great for the wedding. So I tried the skin and digestion, di di why can I not say that? Digestion and the hair and energy. And to be honest, I feel like my skin has been better so far. I haven't really noticed anything on those ones yet, but as I say, I think it's only been about two weeks. So probably not enough to see the difference. And then hair, I always get asked about my hair. And to be honest, I do very little to my hair, but I love these two, um, the, Olaplex. Now this one, I always get confused. Is this one, this is the one that you can use every day. So you put a small amount in and then I've also, whoops, got the one that you can put in as more of a deep treatment and just use this one once a week or something. <laughs> then this one my mum got me, which is really nice as well, just to pop on the ends of your hair, the Hershesons, and it's kind of like a leave-in cream, which you can put on wet hair and also dry hair, which I love because I am a girl that likes things easy. Anyway, this one is really drying in, so I'm gonna go and get my nails done um, before it basically disappears on my face.
I am totally doing this the wrong way around. Uh, I did my nails in the Jessica Sweet Breath. Isn't that just a bit of a weird name? Um, but now I don't want to wash my face off even though I'm desperate to wash it off because I want them to dry. So I'm going to do my eyebrows and I've just been thinking about what kind of things I actually want to get done for the wedding or before the wedding to see if I like it because I am a girl who hasn't had pretty much like any beauty things like eyelash extensions or anything done to my eyebrows. So if there's anything that you have had done that you feel like has really transformed you for the better let me know in the comments below because I want to give a few of them a go and I feel like I should probably start giving them a go now with like loads of time to spare because knowing me I probably won't like them so if they last for like a while like a few months then I want it to fade out. which probably isn't the best thing seen as I need to read through the wedding contract but at least I'll be zen for it. And I'm also going to pop this on the pesky spot that was on my chin and keep it my bedside. I'm going to be honest it's not a miracle worker but I like to put it on to think that it's doing something. This one just got home and pretty good timing because I was just about to put on the oven for dinner. But we have got surprise burgers coming very cheeky whilst he was at work he ordered a steak away so anyway obviously he was craving it there's a really loud helicopter outside i don't know what it's doing but isn't it noisy anyway we'll show you our very cheeky dinner but i'm pretty much just gonna see you guys in the morning other than that it doesn't really look that appetizing but it's the most delicious chicken burger you'll have to take my word on that just made it to bath and I've been into the first charity shop and to be honest there wasn't a huge amount of homeware stuff my face feels a little bit itchy from wearing a mask and I think I'm gonna head in really noisy bus head into Neptune I just feel like I've missed it thankfully the sun's out because it was looking super cloudy this morning I'm just not sure I'm gonna get what I want in town in the charity shops I think you need to be a little bit further out but Let's see what they've got in Neptune. Oh, but I did see, kind of cleverly, some jasmine, which was on um, this like really cool, um, rusted, I don't know what you'd call it, trellis, metal trellis. And now I'm thinking of doing that again in the garden. But anyway, Neptune has a beautiful garden, I'll show you that. All of my friends say, girl, you better take care. Cause that man is trouble, you best beware. And though deep down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop, no, no, cause I love you baby, I can't let you go baby, I gotta tell you that I won't let I've been looking for love so true, when I was Anthropology, and I'm just going to try these two pieces on.
back home, straight into my pajamas and bed, my absolute happy place. I actually didn't pick up a lot in Bath. The only thing I picked up you would have seen was a few more of these because I had these down in the living room when I did a living room makeover ages ago and then I pinched them for this room makeover. So I thought that I'd replace them because I just think that these are so great year round. Um, and that was it, but I had a really nice mooch and just enjoyed looking in the shops, looking at some of the sales clothes and bits like that. I hope you enjoyed coming along. Hopefully we'll be planting those garden, gardens? Flowers into the garden soon, but I will see you guys all in the next one. Actually, I'm sure the next one is a garden update, so I'll see you then. Bye guys.